Let's mark, let's mark. Zed, you have to stand up. That's best you, Zed. You have to stand up. You have to stand up. Zed, you have
Second yellow card of this game show to shot number nine of Venus SS Women Football Club, Joy Serin Aracha. Ah, 
Quatro tu é um nanyabo. Hey, 
Maroons FC Zero. We recognize the presence of UFA First Vice President Justice Mugisha, UFA XCOM member Chris Kalibala, UFA Competition Vice, uh, UFA Competition Vice Committee Vice Chairman Ratik Mafuko, UFA Delegates. Sari, Joseph Mwanje, Uganda Football Women Association Chair Fadu, Madam Margaret Kubi, also recognize the presence of uh, national teams coaches, UFA Women Elite League officials, and UFA Women Super League officials. There are four understanding this. There are four. There are four. There are four understanding this model. Hey, 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 excuse me, Daddy. Who do you think you are? A queen? Hey, haven't you heard? Get Airtel Chillax bundles and browse like a queen. Get Airtel Chillax bundles that do not expire and browse like a queen or king. Dial star 175 hash or use my Airtel app. Airtel, the smartphone. back it's the FUFA Women Elite League Climax is the final down at the technical center. My name is John Burns and I'm joined in studio still by Ronnie Santos, my colleague in crime, a journalist and coach Majida Nantan and a very, very special guest. We waited for her and she's the right one for us to be in this studio and Ugandans be sure you're going to welcome her, Hasfa Nasona. Does that name ring a bell? If it doesn't, it will in a while when she introduces herself and whatever little things, I'll call them little. She's done in football in Uganda, for football in Uganda. But first, my colleague Ronnie Santos, 
the first half in a few. Yeah, um, very good game uh, for both teams who actually expected uh, Maroons to dominate, which they have done. Mm -hmm. But having no shot on target in the past 45 minutes, it is a worry. And <laughs> unfortunately, the team that is actually too defensive, uh, Rines, uh, they have had three shots on target. Okay. Actually, they should be with a goal if the, the shot number nine had not attempted to first touch the ball, then score. Okay. Then we, we saw Maroons um, getting the first chance in the first one minute of the game, uh, which I believe they should have put it on, but it, the red was, uh, Najuko Justin was already offside. Uh, it's a game that can be won by any side, but as, as we look at how the game has been played in the first 45 minutes now, I'm changing my mind. I'm trying to, to, to. I'm changing actually. I'm now going for Rines because they have shown me that they have come for this. Because you see the way how they, they are too defensive. They have defended very well, but also up front they are armed. Yeah. I've seen them trying to uh, make some damages. They have actually put some damages. They are good at shooting in the middle field. They are also good at controlling. They are playing with a one lead striker, yeah. shot nine, who's doing everything like yeah. a, 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 a laundry striker. She gets the ball, hold, don't wait for other players to come in. And when they, ca they come in, mm. she does distribute the, 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 the ball. I mean, she does share the ball. And what I've just seen, they were just not lucky to, to score. Okay. Uh, you have to give a credit to the goalkeeper of Shima Runes. Uh, had it not been her two saves, who knows? Maybe they would be down one nil. Okay. And uh, Ugandans, please put your hands together as we welcome that lady I've told you about. Husband Nasun. Welcome, madam. We, are, we don't blame you for coming in a little late because, I mean, stars at times can make those small mistakes and uh, surely Ugandans, please just accept it. She joins us. As for Nasuna, in a minute or two, first introduce yourself to Ugandans, tell them whatever you have achieved in Uganda, and for me, after she's told you what she has achieved, is the reason why she is in the studio for this morning. All right. Um, for Nasuna, uh, uh, Crested Crane player. I started at UCU. Yeah, for what I've done in the league, I think I'm the most decorated player. For that, I thank God. And I am that one player who has scored as more as more. Yeah, as I can. Uh, but do you remember the goals you scored, Haspa? Yeah. Tell, tell the Ugandans that you are the record female goal scorer in Uganda and the amount of goals you scored. They'd like to hear it from the possible. Okay, I've scored uh, 91 goals. And I think for the next season, yeah, I hope to add on more. To hit that 100 goal mark. That century yeah. of goals. Um, uh, Coach Majida, yes, we've got the football that is happening down at the centre, but uh, 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 being in company with that uh, Hasfa, Nasuna, what does it feel for you and uh, where is her future going forward? Actually, uh, very much impressed by Hasfa. Hasfa is one of those players who are scouted way back when we were young in secondary school uh, to come into the national setup. That was in 2012 and 2013, starting with the under 20 of that year. Being that now she's consistent, I think this goes to Santos. Asfa is overdue. Can you please <laughs> become a first agent for her? <laughs> yes, and that's how other players can be intrinsically motivated. Asfa is the top player. She has done it all in, in Uganda. Now we need to see Asfa for the next level. Every Ugandan out there, players like Asfa, players like others in Asfa's category, it's time how they are agents. Uh, are so much working with boys, please try these women, try these girls and give them a chance as well. Yeah, how many of you started the company, the person who scored 91 goals? I am very proud of being one of those Ugandans that has ever stood close to us for us so I know we have put one thing in as far as statistics, but I don't think she has come very close to any of you. But I'm very, very proud of what I've talked about, and I'll, I'll, I'll go on with that because of COVID-19. Otherwise, if it weren't for that, it would have been a big hug. In Super League, and now here she is. She's come to UBC and has a great chance to tell you guys whatever you guys went through as you played football down there, and maybe what these girls you think are going through because you surely speak from an informed position. 
Okay, as a person, I I think all of us, like and my fellow players, we go. We try so much to give our fans, our our families, a good show, and that comes after training so hard. Mm. We've got we've got an agent in this studio like uh, in the studio money that I am in, Rony Santos, like uh, Majida requested Santos to pick on players like you and take you on. Uh, but do you think that uh, women's football in Uganda has got the attention it requires from everyone, including us? In here? Yes. Uh, as a person, I think it is always one step at a time. Uh, for, for the FIFA, as a federation, we thank them for giving us the the media like UBC to expose our talents it is a it is a good opportunity and a big one to us because there are so many people out there that are watching those girls playing and I think the opportunities are going to come as more as okay and uh, as for I'm certain maybe you've got a glimpse of this game to showing now the final of the four in LA league it's Shima Rosa against Venice at least you know a bit about both those teams. Um, what's your opinion about the quality of football that they are playing down there? Actually, both teams have been playing good, but I think that they have been so much defensive. We have both seen like one of the team attacking and attacking. They have been so much defensive, more so this. They have been passing the ball, but I think maybe it is because of it is a final game. That's why they, they just feel like to concede. That's why they're not attacking. They don't know that the best way of defending is attacking. Good. I think you, you, you're proud of uh, what you understand is that's uh, uh, what uh, how she's concluded that the best of attacking is defending, and of course, the best of attacking is yes. taking it. I actually like what Hatha said. She is the player with experience. Like I said when you told me I'm not predict, the players who will be meant to fit for this game are the ones who are more sure. So when you look at the class, they are not entertained, but now the formation, let me talk about the pattern of these teams. They all had four three three. The very interesting part of that kind of pattern is that you can drop two, uh, two players to go and help the defense, and that is what Nerens is doing. At the end of it, they are six in defense, very defensive. But again, with the Shimaru's squad that have been playing, they also put up the other three within two from the midfield, and, and they attack in numbers in the final third. Now, this kind of game is tricky. What do coaches do? It's a tactical kind of play. Rens didn't want to concede because they know what Shimaru's can do. They can score at any time. Now they cross all the gaps. Now, let us see how coaches are in that tactical awareness and approach the game as they are. Still, it's attacking minded. To see that now they can use the wing play. Again, the mobility has been less, cut off by Rennes uh, for Shimaroons, but now let them try to widen up the, the field of play and then use their wingers. The left back, uh, the right back and the left and the right midfielder and the right and the left midfielder. Once they widen the space and the, these two Lillian and Millicent open up, so I think Baron should now start focusing on wing play uh, because they have those swift players players with good tactics on uh, techni techniques on the ball okay. so now once they do that because as fans as people who are here we need to win and actually it's so crucial for these teams to score because this is a final only when you score is when you can take it okay as we have to go back to the stadium down there to you. Um, uh, as for your final remarks what do you expect in the second half uh what what i think the first team that is going to score is going to win the game Okay, thank you very much. Rony Santos, a worker, popular doctor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your final remarks? Yeah, I, I don't see any goal. Um, I'm going, I'm not going by as far as uh, opinion. Okay. I think uh, we shall go for penalties. I'm seeing a 0 Of course, she says who scores first, even in the penalties, who scores first, maybe she thinks we win. <laughs> Let's go back to Peter Tai, who's giving us a of this great game of football. It's the final 
of the FUFA Women Elite League. Both these teams already qualified to play where Hasfa Nasuna is already at the FUFA Women Super League. See you at the end of the night.
First substitution of this game. Just number nine for Greenness SS Women Football Club. Joy Serin in Russia. Out. Just number ten, Ivan Agai in. Oh, 
Substitution for Sheep Maroon, Anita Bavillier, and Atom Jacqueline out, Nasari Jacqueline, and Tom Fisher Wing in.
Substitution for Rennes SS Women Football Club. Just 17, Betty Nakulu out. Just 11, Yusafa Yesu in. Come on, 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 come on,
Chimarons FC, just number nine, medicine number
We recognize the presence of Upa Exco member in time of Chiapa, Mr. Isa Mabola. The winner of this competition will walk away with the prize money of 8 million. The runners up will take 5 million. Third place will go home with 3.5 million. And the fourth place team will walk away with 1.5 million. Individual awards. The fair play team will go away with 500,000 shillings, golden boot 500,000 shillings, golden glass 500,000 shillings, and the MVP will go away with 500,000 shillings.
Minimum of two minutes added to this game. The following officials will be heading to the platform to press the honor of the awarding ceremony. Upper Park Vice President Justice Lubisha will be followed by Uganda Women Football Association Chairperson. Margaret Kubinji and Kupa Esco members Isa Magola and Chris Kalibar. Women Allied League. 